we can fit through there. Oh, darn it. We've got like a, a light. Well, that's not really helpful, is it? Yeah, that wasn't a good one at all. What the heck is going on? Hello, everybody, and welcome back to City Skylines with me, Biffa. Here we are in New Zealand, the city that is crammed full of every mod imaginable. And we're going to be diving into some more sports venues and some more shopping malls and probably some more mass transit as well. Because in the last episode, the area that we're heading over to, we built that super mega hub. And thank you for your, your comments, your understanding. Yeah, it was like super overkill. Um, talking of super overkill, look at all these cemeteries that we've got over here when we were trying to solve a problem a long time ago. Probably don't need all of those. But anywho, we are definitely going to be glad of that mass transit in this episode because what we're going to build, what we're going to be building is going to be absolutely huge. And it's going to go into this area over here. Aha, so here's our transport hub with lines going backwards and forwards all over the place. And we've got to squeeze some stuff into here. Let me show you what I picked out to go into this area. And I've taken these suggestions from your comments as well. So we're going to be diving into some Aussie football. So we've got the Community Australian Football Field. Now these aren't too large. If we just sort of put those up against here, we can see they're reasonably small. Uh, and there's another one there, although this one's called an Australian football. That one's called Australian football as well. Yeah, yeah, there we go. So we'll get some bleachers with that one. Then we're also going to take a look at, as you can see by the name, the Mall of Marvels. This is humongous. This is from the Shopping Malls Content Creator Pack. And this is huge. This is huge. And I would like to squeeze that into this space here. So it's right next to the Transit Hub, have a load of car parking and all that sort of thing over there. And then I'd like to dive into some of the soccer stuff. I particularly enjoy this timber box soccer stadium. By the way, the reason we're going for the Australian stuff, this is New Zealand. A lot of people saying reminds me of New Zealand. I can totally understand that. Um, yeah, this timber box soccer stadium, which I just think is going to look fantastic, which we're possibly going to squeeze alongside the river down here. We've also got this space up over here so we'll see how we go and then yeah that is that is it so wow let's dive in and see what we can do so let's start with the mall of marvels i want to just sort of place this down let's place it down over here out the way let's pause the game and just take a look at it for a moment so super super cool looking asset places to sit outside have something to eat uh, we've got this road along the front and then if we scoot around the back there is also a road around the back i know there's a load of trees there don't worry about that so this is probably more like a service entrance and if we're using the move it mod can i sort of drag that over to here here we go and how well is that going to fit in <sighs> This is going to be tight, particularly because of that road that we've got over the back. So we might just need to make a little more space. So I'm going to sort of squeeze that right up to here. Yeah, and then we're going to have to sort of adjust our highways and things that we've got going on over here. And that's where some of our amazing mods can help us. So what I'd like to do is to cut straight across there with our highway. So again, I am just going to pause this. We're going to remove this highway that we've got going along here there we go excellent and then i'm going to point these two over in the direction that we want to go we can also use control with the move it more just to line those up a little bit better so they're going to go straight down there oh there is a few rocks that needs to be saved here isn't there good grief let's go through and grab these and another one there excellent let's grab all four of these rocks okay you want to be grabbed and you want to be grabbed excellent let's head on over to alien rock park oh man i love this place i love this place this is really like a history of new zealand all the rocks that we've saved along the way and they are just going to be ever so carefully popped into there look at that looking nice looking nice Right, so back over here again. Let's use the picker picker mod to grab this road here. So that's the road that we're going to use. Um, and then we're going to use this here. And we're going to try and do create curve mode from there all the way to there. And is that back far enough? That certainly looks better than it was. I tell you what we're going to do is before we do that, we're going to just move these up a little bit. 
Boink, boink, and boink, boink. I know what's going to happen now is we're going to go right over there, aren't we? Let's try that again. Create curve mode from there to there. I think that is better. Yep, and then we're going to do the same from here to here, and then we'll have to reverse that road. That is looking good. Yeah, excellent. So give me a second just to tidy all of the trees and stuff up. Okay, everything's connected up. The trees are all placed alongside the road again, and we have some space. So I'm just thinking that this is literally going to nestle in here like so. I want to get that right up to there. Let's just see. What does that look like when we're coming down the highway? So it is sort of a more industrial look along the back, which is fine because, I mean, this highway here has just come through this sort of industrial farming area. We're going to have some things over here. So, yeah, I think that'll be fine. And then we can connect this road up to this main road here. And then we could have another road going along the back. Not sure why that's looking a bit hawky-borky there. I might just use the Move It mod, grab that. And I've got Control r set to reload. There we go. So we know that's all okay. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So let's connect this up to this main road over here. We're just going to go for some standard two-way roads with no parking. And we're just going to bring that into there like that on that side and into here i want that in the middle there is that gonna let me yes there we go trying to get like a 90 degree angle that is like a wider sort of path on there let's match that up there we go excellent very good i am now thinking that we might go for an asymmetrical road where that comes out like that and that means we get another couple of crossings in there which is fine I'd like to unlock this road and change it, you know, for something a bit nicer. Let's see if we can. If we go into Network Multi-Tool, Unlock. And unlock these segments here. And then I want to go for something just with some grass or something along. Um, wide sidewalks and grass? No. Let's go with this one. Yeah, that's okay. Just adds a little bit of interest. And then I'm going to lock those again to make sure they're okay and then this one at the back i'm going to unlock that one and i'm going to change that to an industrial road so this one here and then we'll lock that one again and i think that sort of sets us on the right track for what we're going to build here where we're going to put our parking oh we'll decide that after we've had a quick auto save sippity are you after a strong, a sturdy mug for your cups of tea or coffee? It works for both if you really have to. Well, how about our new Cool Beans mug now available on BifferPlaysMerch.com? So even though we've got the transport options that everybody's going to be bringing over here to our different events and things, I do think that we need some sort of parking over here. So I'm just thinking I'm going to put that rock there. I'm just thinking maybe a little bit of parking over the back so people that do drive here can park their cars and then they can jump on our transport to go to all the different places that we've got. And this is, I don't think we're going to put any sporting stuff in here right between the highway and the noise of all of this. So I think that's going to work well. Um, we've got in here our vanilla stuff. So we've got the decorative parking lot, the small, the large, and we've also got the multi-story decorative parking lot. We've also got that over here as well, the multi-story decorative parking. So I'm wondering whether just some open air parking in here that just runs along the highway could actually work really well yep so after placing all these trees using the move it mod to tidy it all up we are going to do that i'm also going to grab this here and upgrade that from the highway to the highway with sound barrier just on this side there we go i think that looks a little bit better come on palm trees you're just going to go as well Zoink. there we go excellent and then we need some way of getting i don't want to add another way off the highway because we've got this here and then we've got this main road so i think they're going to have to come up here to join into there but then also i want a road off of here somewhere if they're coming from another direction just thinking of there's a way we can scoot one underneath because that goes back onto the highway i mean we could have this so you go up here and then circle back to get into the parking so maybe we'll try that So I'm trying to sort of think of a way here that we can stack these back. I know I've gone for sort of an odd shape, but that's fine. Um, and fit as many of these back to back as possible. Now, we, of course, they snap on this side. Um, but could I use like a little one new road that comes through here? So I'm sort of going for this. Um, okay, that's not going to snap there. So like that. And then we have another one on here. 
so the idea is you don't cross over here you come up here and then coming these roads and go around and we can just sort of continue that and fit as many in here as we can do you know what i'm going to do i'm going to turn off that that is not helping me out at all There we go, we'll bring that out to there. Oh, I really want to fit one more through here. Can I Can I get one more road through there without it snap? Oh, I can. Look at that, without it causing a problem. Excellent. And then this is the way in and out. Um, it's probably just going to be the way in here. So this probably needs to be one way as well. And then the way out is going to be over there. So let me just change these. I really want this to be a no parking road as well. Uh, no parking, there we go. There we go. So that's what I was thinking. You can go in there and then we'll have this to come out here. And in fact, I'll probably just use this road and we'll just bring that into there. That's quite near to that other junction, isn't it? Let's bring that out a little bit further. Yeah, like so. I think that's okay. We've got some traffic lights on there. Let's just widen that node and square that off a little bit. There we go. And that's two lanes. They can pick which way they're going to go. And I think overall... That should be okay. Let's just widen. Oh, that should be okay like that. I'm just thinking of changing this little bit down here. So we grab one of those and change that to the two-lane version. There we go. This one here. So we'll upgrade that. If we can do this without busting anything, that would be great. Boink. Yeah, there we go. So now you've got the lane going that way and the lane going this way. And I think we'll just ever so slightly look at this again. Straighten that out. Oh, that is far too far. If we do that, I think that should be okay. Yeah, excellent. That shouldn't be any problems. Underneath the railway line, we can fit through there. Oh, darn it. We've got like a, <laughs> a light. Well, that's not really helpful, is it? Um, maybe a little bit of node maneuvering could help with that. There is no node in there. All right, let's add a node. Is that going to let me add a node under there? And it just removes the tracker light. Excellent. And there either side of the node. Very good. And I think that looks good. We don't need this little bit up around the back here. So we're going to remove that. So I think that is a nice amount of parking and a good use of those assets. Lots of lights going on here. What does this look like at night time? If we come out of that view, go into here. Oh, look at that. Well lit up. If you were parking there at night, you'd have no problem at all. Like the mall of marvels well it's not even plugged in yet so <laughs> that ain't gonna work is it let's pop that down to here very good very good so now we've got some space that we can work on through here as well so the next thing i want to squeeze in is this timber box soccer stadium and i want that in here somewhere um i'm gonna just plop that in i know it's overhanging at the back here but i'm gonna plop that in and just see if we can do a bit of maneuvering around oh it's got some lovely trees around that and that is just i love this asset it just looks amazing coming down the highway seeing that that is just brilliant and to be honest it's like almost oh it's so close to being in there perfectly oh man um so let's just see what we can do if i grab this with the move it mod and maybe i'm going to pause the game edge this over this way a bit so it snaps onto there it's almost like it's got like this walkway coming up there i'm just thinking if we move that over a bit and just ever so slightly now the land's going all weird hang on hang on oh a little bit of road maneuvering and we've got that in here perfectly i am loving the way that sits in there fantastic little bit of room for some parking around here which we can do as well and a lovely sort of area we can walk out and enjoy this lovely river that's going along here fantastic so now i'm thinking that with our monorail that comes uh from over here so you park your car jump on the monorail this doesn't need to continue all the way up there it could literally finish off the end of this road so let's just take a look at what options we've got uh for a monorail station yes yeah, so if we can somehow get this we've got this monorail station with road in here with some walking attached so i'm gonna go about there and then I want a little road connecting up here. So what have we got on here? This is monorail road with ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba, four road with monorail and bicycle. So is there a two lane road? Uh, that's tram tracks. No. So I think we're going to have to just go for the basic one here, which is fine. And I'm going to sort of connect that into there. 
And this will take a bit of jiggery pokery. So what are we going to do here is I want this road, but without the monorail on, which I think is this one here. So if we just change that, uh, make sure that's not going to go really weird. Excellent. That's got really wide walking paths on it. Is there a version of this that doesn't have as wide walking paths? That's six lane. Do you know what? Actually, this one here with that bit down the centre might be better because there's a lot of things going on here. So now we need to try and get these to join, which is going to be a case of sort of playing with the... Uh... Oh, there we go. Like that. And I don't know whether that's going to be a little bit too sharp. So we're going to just angle this round here and see if we can get this to connect up in a pleasing way. I think we're going to do it like this instead. We're going to bring the monorail track a little bit further back off the road. We're going to sort of nestle this in here so people can walk off the back and join onto that path. And then we'll just take our start. I think this one, eight, two. Yeah, that looks like the standard one to me. Come on, clickety click. And then we'll get this to connect up to here like so. And that just sort of does go over the road. But I'm wondering whether we could do something about that and get this to maybe look like it's lining up better. Oh, I'm making it worse. I'm making it worse. Hold on a sec. Oh, I think I've got it. I think I've got it. Yeah, there we go. That's fine. I don't mind a little pillar in the middle there. People can walk around that. Excellent. So now they can get off over here with the monorail, which is really, really cool. So that makes that have a purpose. Um, this metro, yeah, I don't know what's going to be happening with that. <laughs> we'll work that out. But that fits in really well. And then, where did we say we could have some more parking? I think this, to me, seems like a place that would have a load of parking along here. Maybe just down the side here. Yeah, let's see if we can make that work. There we go. I just thought I'd do those off camera. You've seen me already placing some parking down. But I think that is looking really nice. Nicely connected up there. Got the asymmetrical road that we're going to need there. Uh, just coming back over to this parking. Something I've just realised is when people park, they've then got to walk all the way around. And these roads are going to be particularly busy. So I'm just wondering whether we could sneak a little path through here. And if we can, I think that would be really helpful. So let's jump into here. Just grab... The standard concrete path. Turn off all of my snapping and see if we can get into there. If I turn that off, I'm just going to go underneath there all the way over. I'm also going to run it all the way along the back. Oh, jumpy game to there. Oh, it's another auto save. Well, I don't mind if I do. There we go. That's connected to there. I'm going to run that all the way down to here so people can cross over and use that. And then this one here, I'm going to run to there and then see if we can just sneak that underneath here as well. There we go. So people can get around. Excellent. I think that is going to work much, much better. People are parking there already. We do have the realistic parking option turned on. Um, yeah. So that is going to help. Now, how are people going to get in and out of here? I think we're going to have that connect over down here somewhere in a totally different area. Can I grab that road with the picker picker mod? I can. Excellent. There we go. I think that'll be perfect. Just in there like that. We will just extend that a little bit, square it off. Very good. So now anybody can get in and out of there. And then I'm going to use the spawn points mod which is this one. So what have we got here? Taxi, her. So actually, we don't have any cargo trucks or anything coming in here, um, but at least we get the look of it, and people are probably going to still drive up the back there anyway, as we can see. Very nice, very nice. We've got those. So now we want to pop in our local... Uh, let's go over here. So what do they call them? Community, Australian Football Field, and Australian Football Park. And I'm just sort of thinking, what's going to be the quietest place to put these? You know, here you're inside a stadium. I know there's no power and water. We'll get to that. Here you're inside a stadium. You know, you're only going to be hearing what's inside the stadium. Here you're indoor shopping. So the fact you're surrounded by roads, no problem at all. I imagine this is going to be quite noisy um, over here. So I'm thinking this little spot up the back here. So you've got the lovely mountains. Yeah, you've got a train going past. We've got the PG tips up there. And then you've got a little farming community. I think this little spot here is going to work well. We can get rid of the power because I've jumped the power across somewhere else. So let's remove all of that and hope nobody ends up dying from lack of power. There we go. And then we can easily bring a road in off here. 
to come into this area. I think that would probably be the best spot. Let's just pop these down. So if I can grab that one, uh, what road can I place them up against? So if we do that, then we're going to use the move it mod. We're going to nestle that one in there. And then we're going to use this to say to terrain height. Excellent. And then this is the larger one. Let's not break anything while we're maneuvering it around. And that one is going to go. I mean, that just that shape just wants to nestle in there, doesn't it? But I'm going to move it away from the road a little bit. And then we'll just set that to terrain height. And let's just have a look at these. So what do we get? Oh, that's fantastic. So we get a nice path that runs around here through the trees. Excellent. Get some lovely bleachers that are in there. Looking really nice. And a fantastic view of the city. I mean, just look at that. That is just great, isn't it? If you're sat on here enjoying those. And this is more like a little... This is sort of like a small one. But what I'm going to do is imagine this is like a practice field for this one over here. So we can, yeah, definitely make use of that. Okay, do these, so these need road connections, don't they? Well, let's get some roads and things in here. And again, we'll have some parking over here. And also, what sort of options do we have that we haven't used yet of helping people get over here? I'm just thinking we've got... So we've got a spare underground metro line here that we could just swing round and pop a little metro over there. And I think, why the heck not? We're going for overkill to make sure people can get everywhere. Let's do that. Yes, excellent. And then we need to try and work out how we're going to get a road off of here. It dips down right there. I'm sure with enough finagling, we can get something to work. Ah, oh, I was just about to start finagling the road and we've got an average traffic flow of 100%. That is, <laughs> what have I done to deserve it? What is going on? There is no traffic anywhere. None. Nothing at all. Not even one slightly red road. And we've got 100% traffic flow. Look, you still there's cars on there, so no shenanigans have happened. Nothing is red at all. That is absolutely amazing. Look at that. Solving traffic without even trying to. Oh, man, I love it. I love it. Right, let me dive into this road here and see what we can do to get this working it's just not going away that traffic flow is staying it's still a hundred percent still a hundred percent still <laughs> love it Okay, so I think they nestle into the hills really well. We've got a little bit of parking around there. Plenty of decorating we can come along and do. And I just thought I'd pop this in here as well. So this gives us, this is the community soccer park. Gives us this sort of outbuilding in here. Actually, no, it's not an outbuilding, is it? It's just some uh, seats for watching this. But anyway, I'm sort of viewing that as like an additional training center for this place over here. So that all ties together well. We've now got all the water apart from that one there and electricity that this all needs so this is all going to start working and kicking in which is great so i'm just thinking what else we could pop in here i want to do something with this bit of space here as we've got a road that comes up here we can adjust this slightly or oh, what could we do with that how about some of the other shopping malls that we haven't used so we've got the large grocery store which we can pop in here that's a food plus. I'm thinking we're going to move it over there a little bit. Although, actually, it fits in there really well, doesn't it? And then maybe we could bring the road around here as well. Let's just do that while we're, while we're thinking of it. Because we're going to need to place some more items up against this road. Oh, that went too far, but never mind. We'll come along there. And then we've also got this one here. Medium grocery store. Is that going to be... I know it's over the road, but I just want to have a look at the sign. So this one here is a food plus plus. Uh, this is a fresh food. Excellent. So we can pop that one in there as well somewhere. And the open air malls, we've used those in our other cities. So I'm going to skip those ones. But then down the bottom here, we've actually got this one, which is a shopping plaza, which I think will fit in here really well. And then these are all the uh, buildings like we've got over here. So we might sort of put a spattering of those. But if we can get these in here and working... Right by the parking. I think that is a fantastic idea. Let's just grab our Move It mod and just get that up and nice and close there.
yeah, I think something like that works well. Nothing too complicated. And I believe these are all unique buildings. So even having a little warehouse out here to hold commercial goods isn't really going to, you know, make a difference to the running of the buildings. But I just think it might add a little something, something in there. So let us just, yeah, we'll close that. We'll turn that off. Ah, oh, traffic's back to 86%. It finally dropped. Um, if we got a small little one that could fit in there, just to, let's go like that. Yeah, I think that will sort of fit in well in there. And then we'll just add, we'll keep it on balanced and we'll put zone commercial goods in there just because. And then with our one U roads, let's have a look. We'll grab our two way one U and just sort of bring that. I don't want that connecting to the highway. Could that squeak down here somehow without it snapping? If we turn the snapping off and get that to run okay we'll turn all my snap twos off i want that to go along there and then into here if we can now i want this back on again there we go and just see what that looks like we bring that up until this all sort of straightens out oh it's almost there isn't it so let's grab these nodes i mean that is literally right along the highway which is fine i don't mind that i think i've got that all straightened out now that's not overlapping there just a little bit of concrete which we're going to fill in anyway i think that looks good very nice very nice and then we can do a bit of decorating around these areas i pop this guy in here as well i might switch this plaza up i just thought a little bit of height in this area with all these stadiums really draws your eye and i quite liked it so we're gonna keep that there and it helps the electricity get across as well which is great and also just checking out the services we've got in this area. We're a little short on sort of everything, really. So I was wondering whether we could sort of make use of this little spot over here. Um, I do want to put in a high capacity police station. And that is not too big at all. Can I put that up against there? Let's have a look. That is very close. I'll use the move it mod and we'll snap that to the corner. I think that fits well in there. Um, and then maybe we could use the other high capacity. Let's have a look here. High capacity hospital. Oh, that is not going to fit in there, is it? I don't think that is new. Is there another little spot? We've got this spot down here, which I think would be a great spot for the hospital. And, you know, we've got these dead end lines. We've already agreed that they're not going to be used ever again. Maybe sometime in the future. But they can go underground. You know, we're not going to worry too much about that. But we could definitely come off of here. And just sort of come out. Yeah, I'm going to come out at an angle. I quite like that. So it's not exactly the same following that road there. And then I'm not sure what the back of this looks like. Whoa. Do you know what? Having the back of that along there, that isn't too bad, is it, as well? We can add some paths and things, make that a nice area. Ambulance is already going out. Excellent. And then what was the other one? Fire. So we've got the high capacity fire station. How big is that? That is quite large as well. I'm wondering whether that will fit in here around the back of this. Yeah, there we go. If we pop that there. Oh, we've got this spot here again, haven't we? Yeah, let's go here. Right in the middle there. So it's a nice looking building coming down the highway. Yeah, I've just spotted that. We'll sort that out. But actually fits quite in well with the area that we've got here. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Darn it, literally unplayable, down to 85% traffic from 100%. I just don't know what I'm doing anymore. That's just green roads as far as I can see. Ah, oh, 86% is heading back up to 100 again. Are we going to get it before the end of the episode, down to 85%? Who knows? Right, so I'm just looking around some of these new little areas that we popped in, just trying to sort of see if we can change some things up a bit. So I don't want traffic lights in here. That's three times I've clicked that. There we go. So we're going to do the giveaway and the giveaway or the yield over there, as they like to say in certain parts of the world. Uh, we're going to just make that a tiny bit bigger and square that off. I think that's going to look a bit better. I want the giveaway over here as well. Bong, bong, bong. There we go. And we'll, yeah, we'll make that slightly bigger as well and square that off. I don't know what number I did on the others, but we'll just go with that. That's fine. Then I'm just thinking of walking paths to help people get in and out of this area here. That was a lot of clicks when I opened that menu. Oh, so people are crossing over here. Let us turn off that. And I'm thinking they're going to want to just sort of get across here. 
into this area without worrying too much um, about following the roads everywhere. Can I add another node in there without causing any issues? I can. Fantastic. So that can come down here and then curve. I'm assuming that is a path it's going to connect to. It is. Excellent. That already connects over the back there. But I'm going to just bring another one into here. Like so. That's good. Nice little bit of walking path action. Um, and then I'm thinking some sort of walking path to get from one side of this to the other. Because you can't walk. You can walk through here. It's got paths on it. People are doing that. But we want to try and make it a little bit safer if we can. So I'm thinking... Now that we've done this, you would have traffic lights here, wouldn't you, for people to cross. If we start getting a lot of people crossing, um, we'll change it up. But for now, we're going to go with what we've got. And I'm thinking of bringing this up here. Let's go to there. And then I want to bring that up. But I want to keep that straight, if it will let me. It's like trying to herk and jerk all over the place. So over here is okay. Down here is not okay. All right, we'll turn off all the snapping. I'm going to go to there. Yeah, that's going to do that weird connection thing. And then I'm going to bring that out there. And then I'm going to bring it out there. And it's going to do that weird connection thing all the way along. That's okay. You can come in and out. You can walk to where you want to go. That's fine. No problem. Um, and I might just meander a few more paths around here and see how it looks. Yeah, that wasn't a good one at all. What the heck is going on? And it's back in the room. Excellent. Thank you. Oh, I thought that one was going to be okay, but obviously that node was far too close to this node. Am I not going to learn my lessons today? There we go, that should be okay. So they can get from there across, they can get from there across. Yeah, lots of lots of walking paths across, that's good. We've got this little path here. Uh, this they can walk up the road, but we can add a few more over this side. And then I think just one more over here will make sense, just to sort of get through to the... That's the one I want it on, that one there, just to get it through to here. So I'm sort of thinking if you were crossing over on some of the paths that we'd put under here, you'd walk along the back, come round here, cut through, get into the main entrance. Then you can cross over, walk to there, walk to there. Over to the other side, you've got paths that will take you round to everywhere. Let's just add another one going through there. So that covers that area. It's easy to cross over there. And I think these are walking paths as well. They are, so we could hook into that there. And one over here. If it lets me, yeah. So if you come out from parking, and we do need, let's have a look, a crossing in there. So we're going to switch that up. There we go. So you can get in and out of the parking. I'm going to move that so it's more pleasing to the eye. Being in the middle, excellent. We want another parking over here. Another parking. Another crossing over here. Excellent. And we're going to have one over here as well. We're just going to add them all in. There we go. Is there another one down here? Let's add another one. Excellent. Lots of places to cross over. That's good. Let's do another one. So we're making it sort of pedestrian-ish without it being a uh, pedestrian road. So there we go. And then finally, we'll add one over here. Do, 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 do. Crossing. And then we'll add a few more of these in because we've got the space over here now. That's it. Fantastic. We'll remove all the trees. Still got some space for decorating. Excellent. So now pedestrian access to all of this has increased, which is exactly what we want to keep the traffic flowing at 100% would be nice. But there we go. Right. I feel like now I'm going to start going through these areas and doing a little bit of decorating. So let's enjoy a nice decorating time lapse.
So there we go. That brings us to the end of the time lapse there. What do you think of our build in that area? I think it is looking fantastic. Probably some more detailing we can do in there, perhaps on a future live stream. But let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Check out the other video on the screen as well. Have a great day. Bye-bye.